lot of different ways to capture your gameplay footage, but when it comes to capture cards, there's three main solutions. You've got internal PCIe, external USBs, or completely PC-less recording to an SD card. And whether you're looking to stream to an online audience or capture gameplay for your YouTube channel, well, you want the very best quality you can get with whatever budget you're working with. But what if your PC isn't equipped for it, or you just want portability? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at three external devices you might want to consider for capturing gameplay from a console, with two of them also giving you the option to stream. The AverMedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus, the Elgato 4K 60S Plus, and the Atmos Ninja 5 Monitor. Now, all of these devices work for next-gen game capture without a PC, but how do they stack up depending on your needs? Well, let's dive in. Now let's start with the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. Now you've got a USB 2.0 interface with an HDMI 2.0 video input and output, with the video output providing you with a 4K pass-through, meaning you'll see your 4K gameplay footage on your 4K monitor or television, but it's only able to capture footage at 1080p at 60 frames per second. So if you need that sweet, sweet 4K gaming footage that we all just crave for, this ain't gonna cut it for you. But 1080 p is still a great option for you if you care about streaming in high resolution since 4k isn't necessarily something the majority of people have access to yet now you also have three modes of connectivity pc capture pc free allowing you to record directly to a micro sd and storage which lets you use the device as an sd card reader now as the most affordable of the bunch that we're going to be talking about sitting at 129.99 it's a great versatile option for those who know they won't be streaming at 4k at 60 anytime soon Moving on over to the Elgato 4K 60S Plus, you've got USB 3.0 with HDMI video input and output with full 4K at 60 frames per second HDR support. Now you can record directly to an SD card, making the Elgato a standalone capturing device. Now you can grab this bad boy for $399.99. Now if you're looking to actually capture 4K gameplay footage, the Elgato is one of the game capture devices you might be looking to get. I would definitely consider this. And also, if you're anything like me and you're coming from the older generation, check these guys out. Look at this. I got the uh, I got the Elgato Game Capture HD and the the Elgato HD 60S. If you're coming from the older generation, guys, well, I'll tell you right now, the 4K 60S Plus is an obvious upgrade that's definitely worth the price of admission. Now the Atmos Ninja 5 monitor here is a unique device to have in your portable PC-free game capturing arsenal because on top of giving you a five inch touchscreen display for monitoring, recording, and editing, you have the ability to output video at 4K at 60 frames per second. And pairing this with a compatible SATA solid state drive here on the back allows you to record high quality HDR footage using just the monitor. This is all you need right here. It's in the package. Now you'll have to buy the proper USB adapter for the SATA SSD to transfer the footage from the card to edit and upload. Now the Atmos Ninja 5 will set you back $599.99. Now the five inch monitor on the Ninja 5 may be way too small for regular gaming, but if you're just looking to capture 4K at 60 frames per second, it does a very great job. Now I played both Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Miles Morales with zero lag or screen tearing. So there are your options for PC-free game capturing. Now let's focus on streaming, which does require a PC. Both Elgato and AverMedia have streaming capabilities, and I typically use the third-party software OBS to stream. Now you can pair either device with it for stream customization, such as overlays and pop-ups, but each also have their very own respective streaming software you can download if you just pretty much need just the basics. ReCentral for AverMedia and Game Capture Studio for Elgato. Now the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S allow you to stream and record gameplay, but there are some limitations, such as lack of stream customizations and recording length. Now, that's one of the advantages of these two bad boys right here. Now, if you have a large enough storage device, then you can record as much footage as you need. 
what's the right device for your needs? Now, personally, coming from the Elgato HD 60S, I'm really digging this bad boy right here, the 4K 60S Plus. You know, it allows me to stream and capture in 4K. Now, while you can't necessarily stream footage via the Ninja 5, if you're looking for a portable option, to capture 4K gameplay, it's also something you might wanna take a look at. Now, $600 is a very steep price point, but it has a lot of professional capabilities that might appeal to you if you're also a video and film creator. You know, being the most portable, not only do you not need a PC to record, but you also don't need a separate monitor because it is one, look at it, it's a monitor. Now it's also capturing the highest quality uncompressed video out of the three we've discussed so far. So it's top tier. And while the Portable 2 Plus isn't bad by any stretch of the word, it's made for those looking primarily to stream in high quality 1080p, as 4K streaming isn't necessarily something that's possible for the majority of people just yet. Now, it does have redeeming features in its party chat and commentary input option, but most avid streamers use professional mics anyways while streaming, so this option is more for the casual gamer playing with friends. There's so many different options for us to choose from both hardware and software. I can only cover so so much in a single video and talk for so long. So I want y'all to tell me, it's time for y'all to do the talking in the comment section down below, what software or hardware are you using to broadcast and record your gameplay? We'd love to know what you're rocking on a daily. And for more on tech, be sure to check out our video on the essential accessories you should cop for Xbox Series X and S. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN. Guys, this will be easy. Just don't miss the checkpoints and let's go. Did we just lose yellow? 